Hello, everybody. Well, all right. Remember, December the 11th. I'm going to keep telling y'all that so we'll try to remember. Uh, when we're going to have our little get together down there at Brennan's place. Saw stuff, axe stuff, whatever. We're not perpendicular when it comes to that. Uh, so that y'all know there's not going to be any 288 today. I have uh, a filter ordered for it. And we're not going to take it out there and run it without the filter on it. I have the filter ordered for it and a few other things. What did I do? We changed it over to uh, 3H from uh, 404. So uh, I've got an 850 Mac I need to build for him as well. We're going to start on that pretty soon. It's not going to be long. But a buddy of mine called me. And uh, he's had some some saw related stuff go on, and his 372 is no longer available for him. So I've got this one here that's just about ready to go, but it has an air leak, and I ain't been able to figure out where the air leak is. So. What we're going to do is, I got another bottom in <laughs> that the cylinders just wore pretty bad on. I'm going to, I'm going to snatch the top end off of this one. The other one's down in the cooker. And when it gets done cleaning, we're going to swap it out. And put, uh, just put this top in on the other saw. And hopefully that will, uh, remedy the running issue if not then I'll be kicking myself in the butt but I think it will maybe if not it might have a carburetor problem <laughs> if that's the case we'll switch over to the other carburetor because we just do crazy things like that so I figured I would bring y'all along for this one. Because hopefully this one's not going to be, I mean, it's going to make a full video, but hopefully it won't be too bad and everything will be done and ready to go in this video. I hope. Because I want to get, I want to get this done so he can have a saw because he needs it, and I'll write what's wrong with this one on it, and uh, we'll just let it go with that. But I need the cylinder side cover saw dog stuff like that might even put this handlebar on it I don't know whether he prefers the full wrap or the one side of it come on get out <clears throat> oh I got to have the chain brake handle too because it's going on the other saw so we're basically going to strip the parts off of this one and put them on that one and see if it runs. I think it will. That other saw is in pretty good shape other than it's just wore. Looks like uh had a little lines in the cylinder like somebody might have raw dogged it a little bit. We'll find out. We will find out. So 
So since I got the other saw in the cooker, I figured I would just come up here and tear this one apart and film this while that one's down there in the cooker getting cleaned. And this cylinder right here, the port work on this cylinder and the piston were really, really a good combination. It sounded real good other than the air leak. The air leak wasn't even that bad. It's just bad enough that it wouldn't, wouldn't cooperate. So we're going to see what happens. Come on, I'm sorry. Come on. There we go. Well, if I could see what I was doing, it would be helpful. Okay. I'm trying to get the pulse lip tube off the nipple, and it is stuck. Stuck good, gosh knows. I think I'm, ri I'm ripping it. it. It won't even come off. It was glued on there. Oh well, it's gonna be loose now because I ripped it. Now the other saw's got one on it. Come on off of there. It's still stuck even after I ripped it. Ripped it plumb in two. You can see the barb. They're still stuck on there. Good heavens alive. All right. Let me get that off of there. line out of there and clean that stuff off there that permatex off the gray it really it really sticks on there good good stuff I actually sent them a thing asking them if they'd like to sponsor our channel and I haven't heard back from them yet I talked to Sunoco and they seem like they're interested in maybe doing a partnership with us or something like that. So we could bring y'all some different fuels. Maybe some stuff that's not too awful bad and runs good and has a high shelf life on it. Now, I know there'll always be people that say it's too much and some say it's a good deal. Here's the thing, if it's got a five year shelf life on it, it ought to be pretty good stuff. And that's what I think. Y'all might notice this piston looks a little funny. Y'all don't be looking at that. Don't 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 look. What does it say on the front of it? Dominant. Yep, that's what it says. This is a dominant piston. Forged piston. They're really pricey. At over a hundred dollars for one piston. They are kind of expensive. But they do make a really nice piston. This one has been slightly modified by me because it had an issue with timing 
and it wasn't an issue caused by the piston. The timing was too high on it, caused a little pre-dead around the top of it. So uh, I actually uh, uh, just went and machined a little bit off the top of it to stop the pre-dead. Our squish might be a little bit close. <laughs> might have to run a gasket. I probably will. Because this thing had stupid compression. So I'll probably put a, a base gasket back on it this time when I put it back together and lower the compression a little bit. It was almost too hard to pull this one over. Because it had so much compression. So we'll probably we'll probably slap a a base gasket on there, raise it up a little bit. Cylinder's been decked and the squishes are really low, and it's a pop top. So we'll do a little bit of gasket adding on there, and that should uh, raise her back up there just a little bit. Remember, this is going to be a work saw now. I was building it to be like a uh, a mid mid level race saw. Some of the stuff that we get together and cut and stuff like that. That's what I was gonna do with it. But now I'm gonna. It's gonna be a work saw. So we'll uh, tame it back down just a little bit. We're gonna tame her back just a bit. Just trying to get a little bit of that sealer off there. The brake cleaner does a pretty good job of getting it off. You start breaking it up. Brake cleaner will help take it off there. The, the coating is so thin it probably wouldn't make a whole lot of difference. But nevertheless, we're going to clean it up. We're going to remotely clean it up anyway. get most of it off of there. Alright. Well, oh, I'm at 12 minutes already. Alright, y'all. I'm going to finish cleaning this up. When I get the other bottom end up here cleaned up, I, we'll start putting it back together. Alright, everybody. I got the cleaned up. Uh, cleaned up saw out of the cooker. Uh, had to go out there and get the dog in because it's starting to rain. Uh, I was thinking about something and I was looking at it and I may not use the dominant piston in here because the timing numbers on that piston are a lot greater than what they need to be <laughs> because I've got the time the time is just a lot different on that cylinder or on that piston because of the uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Because I've got the edge of it cut down, the timing's advanced a lot on it. I actually need to retard the flywheel timing on this, put this piston in. Uh, because I think that's part of it. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to stick the stuff back in this one for a bit and uh, we're going to look at the meteor piston and check and see kind of, I'm going to see if I can get an idea of what, uh, what the squish is on it and go from there. I am not going to film all this because if I do this video it's going to be way too long. Uh, but we're going to try to get some of it here. I'm going to try to pop some of this stuff off here right quick.
just uh, if anything looks wet, y'all don't worry. It just came out of the cooker, so it probably still has some water in it. I dumped all I could get out out, but I can't never get it all out until I get it running or tear it apart. So that's what we're doing now: is tearing it apart. There's water running out. Yippers. I'm just trying to set some of this stuff out of the way. I've done for us that water out of it. much more better all right i'm gonna do some things i'm gonna stop this because i got a feeling y'all won't see what i'm gonna do instead of what i'm doing now all right this is a brand new meteor piston i've set it down on there we're gonna set this ported cylinder on here and it'll squish down we're gonna Throw a couple of screws in there. We're going to check the squish. And I think it's going to be really, really tight. <laughs> but I'm not sure. So. We're going to check it. See if it spins over. And it does not. So. Back off of there. We're going to set this gasket on here. And Lord willing, and creek don't rise, we'll be at 17 or 18. That would be great. <laughs> I don't think that's what's going to happen, but that would be great. What have I got going on here? Well, that fits. I know. just couldn't get it to cooperate, I guess. There we go. We'll make a resolution now. I know. I said resolution, not revolution. Sorry. I just like to say stuff that I think's funny. For some reason, my scissors are gone again. I don't know where they went, but they're gone. I used them yesterday. We all know how that works. <laughs> Shape. Looks like about 19,000, 19 to 22. 21. 21. I think we're going to go with that. I believe that's what we're going to use. Because that's 21 thousandths. And even if it happened to squish down a little farther when I tighten up all four bolts, 
it should still be above 17, which is where I usually like to be. All right. I'm going to pull it back off, put the rings and stuff on it. Sorry, y'all. Forgot to turn the camera on. Uh, just got the ring on, got the sir clips in. Same piston we just checked out a minute ago. I just forgot to start it back. I've got it set down on here or getting it set down on here. Got to get that. Line it through there. Get that rascal down in there. Throw the cable back in. Fingers would work. All right. Now, make sure all the bolt heads I'm using are clean. This ain't nothing worse than trying to get a bolt in there and it won't go. That's so aggravating. Gun, y'all. I got a. I found that one on eBay used, so I purchased it, and uh, it's a doozy. That rice gonna get on with it. I'm gonna shorten this thing here just a shade. I took the pulse line from the other cylinder and used it because it was for an X torque, and this is XP, so. It's a, a mite shorter now. Or this one's, this line needs to be shorter than one on a, an X torque. So we did that. Yeah, let me go get the muffler. I had to, all right. All right. All right. Now. I know what some of y'all might be thinking. You see that metal shield between the muffler and the and the uh, cylinder. It kind of looks like an X torque shield because it is. I'm finding the ones for these are getting really, really annoying. So. Uh, what I've been doing is I just uh, take the one for the X-Torque model and I just saw about that much off the top of it and put it back on there because it works just fine. You just have to uh, shorten it a bit. I mean, you can tweak it a little and get it on there without, uh, without cutting it off but if you saw about a half inch off of it. Uh, you saw a little off of it, it works a lot better. I'll, I'll get back to you in a few minutes, Jay. I just seen your message pop up. Jay Daniels just messaged me. But right now I'm filming, so I got to stay filming or it turns my camera off and then I have to lock the videos together. Which I can do, but I'm gonna finish this right quick. I just said something stupid. I found the one 
for the non x -tool. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize that I took one off earlier, apparently. Oh, well. Never to the mind. Them boat holes still look good, which is good. All them holes look good. All those holes look good. Looks like there's threads in all them holes. All right. We might be doing good. We ain't got no compression. Now we do. I was just joshing y'all. Let's see. Yippers. All right, let me, uh, all I gotta do now is just throw it back together. Uh, most people know how to do that, so I'll bring you back. We'll see if it'll run. How's that sound? All right, y'all. Here she is. Everything looks good. I haven't tried to crank it yet. So I got the choke on. Let's see what happens. Turn the choke off, give it a little fuel, and see what happens. Might have to do something else to it. Picking up no fuel yet. I did put fuel in it, but we are not picking any up for whatever reason. Let me check these. Check these needles and see what they're at. Half, one, one and a half. Half, one, one and a half. I know they're clean enough. I might have something going on with the carburetor. <laughs> We either got something going on with the carburetor or something going on with the fuel line. We got fuel. We got fuel coming up. So, all right. Let me look at the carburetor right quick, y'all. All right. We're ready for take two. The uh, the stuff in the carburetor didn't look that bad, but the one thing it's been sitting for a while dry after having gas in it, and one of those little valves was sticking up, and I had another kit laying here, so. I throw it in there, so uh, I'm going to shoot a little bit down the pipe so I don't have to pull on as much, and uh, we'll go from there, see if it'll run. <laughs>
All right, that's going to end this video. Uh, it's trying to rain. It is raining and whatever. I don't even really know. Uh, it was starting to rain earlier, so I got up here and got to work on this. Uh, don't know what we're going to do with videos of wood cutting, so we just have to figure out what that is, how it goes, and what works and what don't, because uh, I got a lot of stuff to do, and we're going to try to get some of it done, because people want things. So, uh, y'all have a good day. We appreciate you. Glad y'all come here and watch. Uh, if you comment, y'all talk to each other. Sometimes I do reply to comments. Sometimes I don't, y'all. There's a lot of them. Uh, I see tons of them come in a day, so I try to. Excuse me if I don't. But I try to. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all have a good day. Be safe. Be safe. Be kind. Do something for somebody that can't do nothing for you. Treat people the way you want to be treated. All right. That's all I'm going to say for now. God bless. Bell Hopper out.